In the fall of 2024, Half-Life 2 celebrated its 20-year anniversary. With the anniversary came the Steam Workshop. And thanks to the workshop, the modding scene was alive once again. Unfortunately, it didn't take very long until the Discord user Diolaish mentioned a problem that he was having. They showed me a picture of a map containing a fence and a lamp, but for some reason the fence is casting solid black shadows. At first I thought it must have been their compiling settings, but no, it's not that. Eventually I figured out that Valve, after 20 years of release, still had not updated the lights.rad file. Because one of the tasks of this file is list all the props whose shadows must be based on the props translucent textures rather than the shape of the props. And since Valve didn't fix their mistake after 20 years, I've done it for them. And the rest of this video is a guide on how to install and use this fix. The first thing we need to do is open the folder where Half-Life 2 is installed and create a new folder. If you don't know where this folder is, find Half-Life 2 in the Steam library, right click it, go to manage and browse local files. Inside of this folder, create a new folder called vredfix. While still in this folder, use the search function and look for gameinfo.txt. You will get maybe 5 or 6 files. Open every single one of them in a text editor. Inside of the game info, scroll down until you find the search paths. Just below the opening bracket underneath search paths, add a new line reading game vred fix. Every single game info must have this line at the very tippy top of the search paths. If it's not on the top, it won't work. In the description is a link to a GitHub page containing two new lights.red files. One is called Bigger Lights.red, which contains every model with fence and foliage in the model name. The second one is called Huge Lights.red, because it contains literally every single model in Half Life 1, Half Life 2, Episode 1, Episode 2, and Lost Coast. It might seem overkill to have every model in this list, but that isn't a problem. Because the lighting compile program always checks whether a model is static or not and whether it has transparent materials or not. If a model is not static or does not have transparent materials, it'll always be ignored in this step as it should be. And if you do find a model that you don't want to be in the list, you can simply open the radiosity file, find the model, and delete it from the list. Anyways. In GitHub, click on Code, Download Zip, and download it into your vredfix folder and unpack the red files from the zip. And that's all for installing it. Now you have to make use of it. In Hammer, press F9 or the Compile Map button. Click on the Export button if you aren't using it already. Then click on Edit. Pick any of the configurations that you would like to use. Then click the Copy button. The most important part is that the parameter box on the bottom right contains the dash lights bigger lights dot red, followed by texture shadows static prop lighting, and static prop polys. This defines what radiosity file to use and to actually use the shadows based on the alpha channels on all of the models inside of the red file. And now you're done. There is nothing left for you to do other than to compile the map and watch your problems disappear. And with that, we have reached the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, please leave a like, subscribe for more content like this and feel free to leave a comment if you want to request a very specific video guide. 
If you need help with this process or modding in general, join the Dead for Mods Discord server, a link to which has been provided in the video description. There is also a link to my personal Discord server, which is not quite as active as Dead for Mods, but it's mostly about shooting the shit. If you wanna be really nice and financially support me, there is a link to my PayPal down below as well. I could really use some money to buy a new chair right about now. But this video has been long enough as it is. Have a nice day, have fun, good luck, see you next time, bye. Thank you.